One da na 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 na. Welcome to my nightmare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I got me some Alice Cooper stuck in my head today, man. I got me some. I, I was listening. Uh, actually, I was cleaning my room at the at the at the preschool, and I was listening to a little bit of uh um. What I start off with? I started off with some Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. Then I went to some uh, Van Halen, Jump. And then I went to some uh, Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. And then then I went on to uh, some Thunderstruck by ACDC, which went into, for those about to rock, we salute you. Yeah, and by the time I was done with that, the room was clean. Because I because it just gives you the energy. It gives you the energy you need to clean the room. When you when you, when you got to dust things and sweep things and mop things and spray things down with bleach to make sure the kids don't get sick, they don't don't, don't get get the, the vid and all the rest of that stuff, you you got to spray things down with bleach. You got to listen to yourself some, some, some heavy metal, rock, music, classic stuff like some Alice Cooper, some Guns N' Roses, and some uh, um, ACDC. <laughs> Yeah, you, you do. You just got to do it. And I, and I, and forgive me, but there was a, um, um, I want to say, it was a journey. Yes, a any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Oh, nothing left, nothing left, nothing left. Was that was that journey? Or was that Kenny Loggins? No, Kenny Loggins was. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. The same song was in the uh, Caddyshack. Yeah. Anyway, um, I got some stuff. I got. I got stuff i got some stuff and i'm gonna unbox it so i can do it now remember everything that i have here i purchased myself so if you want to be a nice guy or a nice gal uh i do have a uh, venmo account on the bottom of my thing if you want to support the channel you can venmo me a buck venmo me a buck and i'll uh, i'll be very happy okay but it's in in the description below go right ahead you know you you, fe you feel impelled impelled compelled the, the power of a buck compels you if you feel like you need to to, to help help a, help a guy out in the in the description anyway um first one i have here is from lansing me am i lansing me um from a a, a a guy a girl named j double j j dobla dope dobla dobby j dobly do, do, no d-o-e-b-l-e-r dope dobler all right uh, mr dobler see what you got for me here all right no slip cover Thank goodness for that. I didn't cut through anything. Um, oh, all right. Now, please don't find me to be strange, because this is a uh, Criterion Collection. Hold on, wait a minute. This is a special Criterion Collection. This one did not come from the Barnes & Noble. It came from Mr. Dobler, or Blair, the Blair. And I bought it because I don't own another movie <laughs> with Rob... Sh Rob no, I was going to say Rob Schneider. Roy Scheider in it. Rob Schneider, not Rob Schneider. Roy Scheider. Yes, I, I have I have all of the uh, Jaws movies, but uh, doing a little research, I realized that Rob Scheider, Sh Sh oh, am I saying this right? Rob Scheider, Sh Scheider, uh, was in another movie, and I was like, oh, he's in another movie. Now he's, I'm sure he's been in more movies than this. And you're gonna like be like, actually, do me a favor, comment below the other movies that you think I should see that has Rob. Uh, wow, why did, I got Rob Schneider on my head? Roy Scheider in it. Okay, so yeah, yeah, the, uh, uh, Chief Brody. Okay. Um, any other movies that you know of that are really, really good that he stars in? Because I think he's a phenomenal actor. Okay, I don't know. I loved him in Jaws. I loved him in Jaws. He makes the Jaws 1 and Jaws 2, two movie, like, he makes those movies, okay? Um, you, I mean, it could be debated that Quinn, the guy that played Quinn, and, uh, uh what's his face? The other guy, um, Hooper there, uh, uh, are the stars of the show, but uh, I don't know. I have, I've always, I've always been a little partial to the Sheriff Brody. When he gets that slap across the face, like, you, you knew there were sharks out there, and you sent people out into the water anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I love that part, okay? Anyway, um, it's a movie called, from the Criterion Collection, all that jazz. Yes, yes. Now you're probably looking at me like, buddy, this is not gonna be up your alley. You're not you're not gonna go for this. This is a dancing movie. This is a musical. Comes with a booklet. It's got a booklet here. I hope there's nothing in it I'm not supposed to show you. And so let's go backwards when forward fails. Yeah, there's nothing in here that's it's just a lot of writing. Look at that, a lot of writing. You know, I, I don't know. I still don't know why Criter Criterion seems to think I'm gonna read this. I'm not gonna read that. I don't have any pictures for me to look at. Got pictures of, of like Broadway signs or something like that. It's not even like a, there's no there's not even a picture of Roy Schreider in this 
this dang book there. You know, it's that's what a bummer. Um, so after doing a little research, uh, I found that the the Criterion collections of these things are a little expensive, as always, because Criterion's expensive. And um, this showed up on my Criterion list from eBay uh, for I think it was seven ninety nine, and I was like, I'll I'll pay seven ninety nine for a Roy Scheider in all that jazz. Now I do know that this movie is about a about a musical play. I think it is. I watched I watched the actually I watched the opening act or the opening number on YouTube, and um, I watched the trailer, and I was like, I can sit through that. I can do it. 1979, 123 minutes, color, and a whole bunch of uh, things. Now, this is a Blu-ray disc, but it's got the 4K digital restoration with 3.0 surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack. I'm excited. Okay, I'm, I'm ecstatic for all that jazz. All right, let's see. Next one I have here is from, from Derek... J. Robinson from a New Brighton, PA. PA is PA is where uh Bam Margera is from, right? Uh, is that Pennsylvania? Is that is he Bam's from Pennsylvania? I think, right? Phil, yeah, PA. Phil, is it that Philadelphia? Hey, listen, I don't know what the hell it is. Listen, I'm not a geography teacher. I teach preschool. You're lucky I know how to count to ten. Anyway, um, let's see what we got here. We got a, uh, oh, I know what this is. Okay, so, well, look at it. I got a, I got a, I'm not showing you this. I'm not, I'm not showing it to you. Uh, 10% off my next order from this guy from eBay. Yes, he's an eBay seller. Um, actually, he's, he's I, I love when they do this. He's an eBay seller. This guy's name is, uh, DVD Horror Man. Okay, DVD Horror Man. I will show you that. But he's an eBay seller, but they always give you their business card so you can go to their website. You know, so you don't, so, because they know that eBay is going to charge them for putting up the, the, the auction or putting up the order or order, put up the, order, put, putting that merchandise up. Then they're going to charge them. Once they sell it, they take, I think 10% or 5% or whatever. And then you got to pay the shipping. Listen, they know that it's better for them to have their own private little company. And then when they, they stick these little things in there with the shipping thing, luring you away from uh ebay but i will warn you okay and i don't know anything now, i'm not trying to badmouth mr uh dvd horror man here but i will warn you that some companies that try to do that and lure you away from the um the ebay um you might not get your item i i i've done that a couple times i've been lured away from ebay and i'm like oh no i'm gonna save myself all kinds of money and shipping i'm gonna save all kinds of money and for the item i could talk personally with the guy and everything's gonna be cool and we're gonna and i'm gonna get this thing cheaper and then the item never shows up and the problem with that is you don't have that ebay coverage anymore you don't have that paypal coverage anymore now you're battling with your, your credit card company you're battling with a personal guy that you don't even know he's making believe you don't even know who the hell you are and it becomes a big old problem so i'm not listen, i'm not dogging mr dvd horror man he might be the, the greatest salesman on on the net but i have not had a good history of going outside of the ebay box okay or the amazon box for that matter um Usually when I do that, it's tough to get your money back um, if there's a problem. And it's a copy of something that I've been wanting to get for a long time. And unfortunately, it is oh, I'm a little potched here. Um, it is out of print. It's an out of print item. Tough to get item. Expensive item uh, for what it is. Um, it's a copy of Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. Yep, I have the... Um, I can see it from there. I have the DVD. I wanted to upgrade this because I love me some Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. Mm -hmm. You got me some French fried taters? Well, you got some French fried taters in there? Mm -hmm. You're like, mm -hmm. I, I, listen, I, 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 think I saw this, number one, I had no idea. When I when I first originally saw this, I had no idea this was Billy Bob Thornton. He don't look like Billy Bob Thornton in this movie. He looks nothing like Billy Bob Thornton. I don't, I don't think so anyway. I mean, uh, if you watch the movie and there's some little, little pictures in the back there, I don't know if you're going to be able to see him that well, but... He don't look like Billy Bob Thornton in this movie. And his acting is really, really cool. He play, Sling Blade is a movie about this guy that actually uh, was incarcerated because he killed his, his, I believe it was his father or his mother or whatever, his family or whatever, with a sling blade, which is actually the blade on the bottom of a lawnmower. Uh, it's called the Kaiser Blade. Or, he's like, man, it calls the Kaiser Blade. Or, he, he took the blade off the bottom of his lawnmower and he hacked his family to pieces and he went to jail and he got 
release. And when he got released, he befriends this child. The child he befriends is being beaten by his stepfather. And it ends up becoming a whole thing. I'm not going to ruin the movie for you if you've never seen it, but Sling Blade is an absolute piece of work. I mean, it's an, it's, it's, it, it's an, it's a masterpiece, okay? I think I think personally it's a masterpiece. It's one of these like you're edge of your seat, you're getting chills, you're like and Billy Bob Thornton, he like to me, I don't know, I don't know about you, but if you've ever seen the movie, I wanted to be Billy Bob Thornton's friend. I was like, you know what? If you you should be my friend and I'll I'll invite you over for dinner, you can meet my family. Come meet my family. Mm-hmm, I'll meet your family, okay? Mm-hmm. Listen, he does a great job, and that's that's the whole that's the whole thing. That's his whole shtick in the whole movie. He did that got this voice. That, <coughs> Wow. God bless Billy Bob Thornton. I can't, I can't do it for a long period of time. Wow, I thought I could. I know he goes to things like, you got yourself some red fried taters in there. That's, that's like my favorite part. When he first gets out of jail, all he keeps thinking of in his mind that he wants to go and get some french fries. And he goes to the thing, he's like, uh, you got yourself a cheeseburger in there. And the guy goes, we, we have two sizes. We have small and we have large. And he goes, I think I'll get myself the biggins. <laughs> Hey, he does a great job. I mean, I I, I got to check the... All right, so he put a piece of paper in here, which kept it safe. Um, it does have a digital code, which is probably totally useless for me to show you because this movie came out in 223. Code may not be valid after 223.23. So this, is, this code is not valid. It's a Blu-ray. It's in excellent condition. Um... I will. I, I, the digital code's right there. I don't. I don't think you can do anything with it because it does say it expired in twenty twenty three. Um, this has been out of print since I'm assuming twenty twenty three. We're now in twenty twenty four. Um, excellent condition. Uh, flippers are getting between forty to one hundred and forty dollars to two hundred and forty dollars for this title. Um, I don't know why. It, this definitely looks like something that I am going to see eventually. Um, on Criterion, I if, if Sling Blade does not get a, eventually get a Criterion release, along with the movie Radio Flyer, I'm gonna throw that one out there too. Radio Flyer, which is another like movie. So if you if you liked Radio Flyer, you're gonna love Sling Blade. If you like Sling Blade, you're gonna love Radio Flyer. They're both the kind of the same movie. It's all about child abuse and and a lot of messed up stuff and and people that are befriending other people. It, to me, these are important movies. These are movies that you should watch. These are movies that you you should embrace and learn from, and like be educated from. You know, they they just they're just good. And, and Billy Bob Thornton, he does a phenomenal phenomenal job in this. I'm I'm the, the only you know what's getting me right now. I'm a little confused. Is the I mean, I bought this used from this guy. You know what I mean? And I gotta tell you, the case and the Pick, I've never. I don't think I've ever purchased a used disc in such like the the case and the cover art and the the disc and everything that goes in such almost unbelievably pristine condition. Like like it's never seen the light of day. Like this thing's been kept in a box or a bin with no light beating on it for its entire life. I'm impressed. Okay, so uh, uh what's his name again? I'm gonna give him give him props there. Uh, DVD Horror Man. Um, yeah, if you see this guy on uh, eBay, buy from him. And once you buy from him, he'll send you a code thing for... Not even a code, it just says save 10% on your next order. Save 10% of all orders from my website. Visit DVDHorrorMan.com and use this code. Uh, and you will get 10% off. So hey, may, maybe maybe I'll take a chance. Now, now that I've seen how, how great he ships things, I mean, maybe I'll take a chance. Um... Next one comes from TMZ. TMZ. Oh, no. From South Deerfield, Mass. TMZ. I thought TMZ was like a one of those like tabloid things that like rips people apart and messes up their lives. But I guess they sell media, too. I don't, I don't know. Um, well, I got to be careful with this one because it does have a... Get, get the... does have a slipcover. And it seems really thick. It's thick with a slipcover. All right. Get rid of that. Uh, factory sealed. Brand new 4K restoration. Is this the Blu-ray, though? Let me make sure. Because I'm going to be a little disappointed. Yeah, it is Blu-ray. Okay. Um, this is the Blu-ray Arrow video release of Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, and Kevin Bacon in Flatliners. Yes. Um, 
I own Flatliners on DVD. This is, was an upgrade about a week ago or so. Uh, my wife was like, what should I watch on TV? And she's a streamer. She's in the living room. She's streaming. And I wasn't about to dig out my DVD. And I was like, uh, I, I she was scrolling through and I saw Flatliners. I'm like, have you ever seen Flatliners? She's like, no, i never seen Flatliners. I'm like, well, you should watch Flatliners. She's like, why? I said, because it's got Kevin Bacon in it. Is that, is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah. I said, yeah, okay. It says it's got Kevin Bacon in it. It's got Kiefer Sutherland in it. It's got, uh, I'm, big on, I'm not too big on Julia Roberts, but I said it's got Kiefer Sutherland in it. And I am a big Kiefer Sutherland fan. Okay, and I and I do love me some Kevin Bacon. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm, I got a little bit of a Kevin Bacon thing, but I got a big Kiefer Sutherland thing. I think Kiefer Sutherland is is just cool. Okay, there's just certain there's just certain actors. Come on, now, listen, listen. I'm a dude. Okay, but I'm very I'm very secure of my sexuality. Okay, I, I'm a dude, but there's some dudes like like uh, like um like like uh Ryan Reynolds. Okay, I'm gonna throw Ryan Reynolds out there and Kiefer Sutherland that just and Johnny Depp that just ooze of like. Damn, I like to be them. I I I, I want to be that. That's that's a beautiful man. Those are some beautiful men right there. You know, I, and, and and they are okay. And not only that, they're great actors. Okay, so yeah, when I saw Kiefer Sutherland in Young Guns, I was like, Is Kiefer Sutherland, Lost Boys, yeah. You know, and and Kevin Bacon, not so much in Footloose, but Kevin Bacon from uh um, not this. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, I was almost gonna say the movie that that messed up his his thing. Um, it's up there. Come on, come on. I'm looking at the descent. It's not the descent. It's got the same color as the descent. Is my hair sticking on the side? Stir, stir of, stir of echoes. My favorite Kevin Bacon movie, Stir of Echoes. Um, but Kevin Bacon's been in a whole bunch of other movies. He was the original Friday the Thirteenth. Gets killed really quick. Kind of stupid, like, but that's not why I fell in love with him. I fell in love with him for his acting, man. And Keith is just cool, man. He's cool. Even when he does interviews, he does it. He, I watch a lot of these interview things on on uh, YouTube, and he they have like um like Lost Boys reunions and this that and the other thing. And I'm like, Kiefer is like a, he's just like a good guy. He's like he's a good good guy. Um, anyway, let me let me get past that. You guys are probably like all confused, like oh, what what the heck is he talking about? He's talking about how, what good looking men Johnny Depp is and Kiefer Sutherland and and and. Listen, now I don't now. Let me make this clear now, okay? Make it very clear. I do not think Kevin Bacon is a good-looking guy. Just keep it Sutherland and uh, Ryan Reynolds. All right. Anyway, um, this is from Travis Wilson from Fairfax Va. Va. Let's see what's in the Va. Okay. We have a. Oh, got a little schmeck over here. Shout Factory Select. Version of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito in Twins. Yes. Um, I have, and you're going to start seeing, you're going to start seeing a lot of Schwarzenegger and Stallone items coming in. I am upgrading my Stallone and Schwarzenegger collection. And maybe my, um, um, not, not, uh, well, Charles Bronson, I already did. But maybe my Jean Claude Van Damme, maybe, maybe. I'm 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 on the fence by that because I'm not a huge, I'm not as big a fan of of Jean Claude Van Damme as I am of Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sylvester Stallone. I, I I don't I can't think of a bad well, actually I can't I can't think of a couple of bad Sylvester Stallone movies. Schwarzenegger I think's got more of a good run, but but uh, Stallone tried to do some uh, some like weird drama type movies. Like I'm looking over there like the movie Oscar. A little confused about that one. I was a little confused about that movie, Oscar. Uh, Stop or my mom will shoot. Fun movie, but he didn't really need to be in it. Okay, and it, that that was more. They they were trying to glorify that Rue McClanahan or whatever. Not, it was even Rue McClanahan, the little lady from uh, um from Golden Girls. That that's confused me a little bit. But then I, if I'm looking at, I, there's so many movies from Stallone that I still need to upgrade. Like I'm looking at Victory, Get Carter, Fist, uh, um. Punish is that punish punish in alley or something like that. I don't know what it Judge Dredd. I was I wasn't a big fan of, of uh the original Judge Dredd or the remake of Judge Dredd. Um a lot of people loved it. I wasn't a big fan of it. But anyway, um yeah, so so you're gonna start seeing some more Schwarzenegger stuff, you're gonna start seeing some some more Stallone stuff. And twins, it's a great movie. I I just think it was a great movie. It's uh Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito are twins, but not really. That's <laughs> it's a good one. Um Next one I got here is from Mark Combs from Cincinnati, Ohio. I love I love when they're, they're easy like that. When I can just do a Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm like, okay, that, that was that was simple. 
It's a Blu-ray with no slip. And it's a copy of Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor in Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Yeah, that one there. You know what I mean? Nothing going on on the inside of this thing. Um, you probably ask me why, 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 sir? Why Moulin Rouge? Why'd you buy it? Um, I got on this when I, when I when I picked up all that jazz not too long ago. I started looking at musicals, and I started looking at my musical collection. I was like, you know what? There's a couple of musicals that I don't own, like West Side Story and stuff like. And you're probably like, well, musicals kind of suck, you know? Yeah, you know, musicals are not really uh get you excited, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm like, uh, you know, I got, I got. I collect things. I collect movies. I collect a lot. Of, why don't I have like a big musical? Like I got a big like concert section, and I got a big like and I and, and Rocky Horror Picture Show is one of my favorite musicals alongside with Grease Two and yeah, not One Two. Okay, I'm a guy. I like Grease Two. Okay, well, it seems like all the girls in the world like Grease One. I'm a Grease Two guy. Okay, I'm a Michelle Pfeiffer walking up that ladder. Okay, she wants a cool rider. I wanted to be a rider. That was cool. Okay, that was me. Okay, um, but yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't. I have Moulin Rouge on DVD. I want to upgrade to Blu-ray. And uh, it was getting a little bit difficult to find. So I was like, you know, when it's getting difficult to find, that the the the, the hunter in me, the the, 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 the predator, the, the man of prey comes out. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to hunt you down. I will find you and I will buy you. Yes, I'm like straight up like like that, that guy. You know, the guy, the, the, the guy, the Star Wars guy. There, you know, did that movie there with the girl under the bed there. You know, I would find you and I would kill you. No, that that guy. What the heck is the name of that damn movie? I can't remember the damn name. I got it up there. I can't see it. Um, yeah, part one was good, and then they had like four hundred other ones, and, and uh, part one was good. Um, yeah, when I see a movie that I feel like is gonna be a, a, a trouble to find later on, in my heart, in my head, all that goes to my head is I will find you, and you will become mine. You will be part of my collection. That's what's gonna happen. Yes. Uh, and Moulin Rouge was one of them. This does have a whole bunch of special features, and it is a Blu-ray upgrade. Uh, but I will tell you that I have the DVD, and I've yet to watch the DVD in about probably 10 years. Um, so I remember nothing. Um, let's go. We got one more. We're going one more. We're going Amazon here. We're gonna, should we go? We're going to go. You see it? Smiling at me. Smiling at me. He's got the Amazon going on here. Oh, it's got the pull tab. Wait a minute. Hold on. Silly me. Pull tab. Amazon. Thank you for, for the uh, the knife and pad. You get the, you get the pull tab. And we have... A copy of, one copy, one, yes, one in the Amazon bag of the Criterion Collections version of the Blu-ray of Train Spotting. My friends, I got to say that this movie has, okay, first of all, I'm, I'm going to go really slow so you can properly understand this, because when you watch this movie, you can't understand a damn thing. Okay? I, I, I really enjoy this movie. I really enjoy it for what it is. I really love it. But I'll tell you, the dialogue, damn. Like, you got to be Scottish in order to, to understand. I mean, you can watch it with the subtitles on the bottom. It might help you a little bit. I don't like to read nothing while I'm watching it. But the accents are so damn thick in these in this movie that, yeah, I got to tell you that there's certain scenes where I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? But... It's it's a heroin induced movie that has a killer soundtrack with probably one of the coolest songs by Iggy Pop that I can actually think of that Lust for Life song. I got a lust for life. I got a lust for life. Yeah, that song it gets gets me pumped. Okay, um, and then there's a bunch of other songs that are just great. So the soundtrack for this thing is killer, and the movie itself is killer. And it's also I believe this was like what what gave you and McGregor his. His, so it's kind of ironic. We got, we got some, we got some Ewan McGregor later. We got some Ewan Gre McGregor before. Yeah, um, this, this, this started Ewan McGregor's career. This is, this is what sold it, and this was um, a really, really good movie. A little freaky, um, not for the weak at heart or mind. I'm guessing. I, I, I like to throw that out there. It is absolutely rated R. Came out in 1996. Um, this is the Blu-ray edition, but it does have the new 4K digital restoration with the uncut. Uh, of the uncut version of the film, uh, supervised by director Danny Boyle and 2.0 Surround DTS HD Master Audio Soundtrack. So we get the uncut digital... digital. Okay, okay. the only problem I have with this is am I going to get the cut version too or I just get the uncut version? No, it looks like you just get the new 4K digital res restoration of the uncut version of the film. 
Yep. You know what that means, boys and girls? Mr. Melton Movie Guy going to be buying the cheapo $5 version of the regular edition because um, I want to see the theatrical version as well as the uncut version. And since this is a Blu-ray, I mean, I'm glad I got my Criterion Collection 4K, uh, but a uh, 4K restoration Blu-ray, but I, I got to get my, my original version like I remember seeing it for the first time on my DVD player. Uh... I do actually still have the DVD, but it's got to have... I got to get a Blu-ray upgrade. I'm going to have to buy the original Blu-ray without the, having the uncut version on it, just because. And with that said, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, if you can do me a favor, if you can just hit that like button on, the, on your way out, okay? Uh, shut the light off and hit the like button, and I will see you later. You should have saved me some. Goodbye.